Alrighty, looks like uh, we're in and looks like we've got a game. Uh, this is Southern Cross Salt taking on Pussy Lancer in the Anzac Dota uh, Captain's Draft Tournament. My name is Ride Hunter Dota. I'm joined today uh, with Mrs. Frisbee. That is true. Are you there? Yeah, man. You there? Awesome. Yeah, no, I'm coming through, okay? I can hear you, man. That's literally the mo Oh, sick, sick. All good then. Uh, yeah, so we got uh, Southern Cross Salt taking on Pussy Lancer. Uh, we take a quick look through these heroes we've got in the Captain's Draft pool at the moment. Uh, anything of interest? I'm looking through. Radiant Verticals banned. First banned. Come on. Who do you want to see, mate? Right, Who do you want to see get through? Who do I want to see? Uh, Pudge is always fun. Pudge is I want to see. Fun. I want to see an like Elder see. Titan. Oh, how about an Elder Titan and an OD both getting through, man? <laughs> that would be that, fucking... That could be a time. It's and there's a Dark Seer as well. The see in Captain's Draft. <laughs> but it could be the play. It could the be the play. The combo potential. Definitely the play. The we might could see be the, the return of Void. See, this is a... Uh, hero that was so popular a year ago. Four. Southern Cross Salt using a bit of their Radiant time for banning. Bang. What like what we saw in the last game with uh, Dexterity actually running out of time. You know, <laughs> you want to do your bans fast, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. And remember, if you're watching this in game, of course you can catch it uh, online on twitchtv slash and and as a result, vice versa, if you're watching on twitch.tv. Uh, you can tune in on on the ticket as well in the game. There is a, str a second stream running concurrently, which we can't get ticketed, but it's uh, Anzac Twitch TV slash Anzac Dota Two, uh, so that's running at the same time as well at the moment. Ah, well there you go. So uh, you can catch more of your captain's draft action. Flick uh, between the two. One of this gets seven hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, exactly. One uh, dual monitor action if you've got it. <laughs> Watch two games at once. That'd be impressive. This is making me nervous, man, just watching this time tick away, and no picks on the board. I know. I, like, I hope they realise they literally have 41 seconds to pick 5 heroes. I don't know, maybe, they, maybe they've got their lineup sorted, you know? Maybe they, they're walking in there and they just know which yes, 5 heroes, sugar. bang, bang, bang. Oh, there we go, OD. Look at that, OD. Dire team pick. <laughs> OD, nice. Mitch, they're trying to meet us, fam. Team pick. Mirana. Radiant team pick. Answered back with the Marana. A uh, strong in combination with the Earth Shaker. OD's an interesting hero, eh? Like, still pretty strong, still pretty viable, but just not too, not picked all too often. Alrighty, Troll Warlord, Dieting yeah, let's kick it back a patch or two. Hard, back to 6.83. It's good, uh, I'm feeling... Faceless Void. As you Faceless Void, here we go. I want to see a Kunkless Fuzzy Lancer. Again. Enchantress. A... Oh! Or oh, Abaddon Enchantress. This is a quick pick, is this going to be a mid-inch? Mid Marana maybe? I don't know, plenty of opportunities. Plenty of options, there's a 10 seconds remaining. left for Southern Cross to pick. Uh, let's see. I Five like the new Northlander Batrider. Batrider, Darkseer. Darkseer is always Punch. a good call. Oh yeah, uh, there's yeah, a Batrider. Bat Batrider. Batrider's good in this situation. However, the Abaddon's going to prove to be a bit annoying, I think. Yeah, yeah Abaddon's, Abaddon's a super strong pick here. But it's going to be interesting to see uh, how how they play the Enchantress. I'd like to see maybe like a mid enchantress or off lane yeah. or something a bit different. Who do you think their mid lane is going to be at this stage? Uh, well, I know Cut and Paste is a carry player. Uh, I've played with him before. I imagine he's he's going safe lane. Um, sorry, I didn't play with Carsten before. I imagine he's going safe lane. Um, 
I could see like a jungle inch. Alright, there's, there's plenty of things they can do there. Shaker can play safe lane, Five can play off lane. Remaining. It's gonna be interesting to see how they line up, but regardless, we're in the game. So we'll take a look through the teams. Maybe as Prepare I lose the ability to click on the minimap. Whatever reason. Handy. Um, reborn things, but uh, we'll have a look on the radiant side. PL, we've got Cut and Paste playing the Troll Warlord. Dota and Chill on the Earthshaker. Uh, lead the Masses on the Enchantress. Uh, Cox is going to be playing the Abaddon with uh, Sacrifusion. Or a Sacrifuge Sion. Yeah. I guess if you read the capitals correctly. Um, on the side of SES, already smoked up and making their way into the Radiant Jungle. We have. Uh, PAL on the fucking Outward Devourer, we have, um, I'm just gonna call him L on the Faceless Void, I think he's just lost a bunch of dividers. Uh, Cadian on the Lich, <laughs> uh, Halois on the, uh, Jakiro, and V, V on the, uh, Batrider, I'm gonna call him V. Sounds cool than Veg. Might yeah, be Veg though. I think I've got the easier names. I think, <laughs> I, I think I for sure got the easier names. So, uh, it looks like we're gonna get the classic rune split, H. Which team's gonna give, uh, the rune to who they want it, whoever they want to give the rune to. It might give us a indication begins. of who's going mid. Yeah, a couple of names... Actually picking up the rune. Yeah, a couple of the names, uh, such as Sacrifusion and Lead the Masses of teams for, uh, names I've, I've seen before in previous Anzac. Uh, competitors uh, on the team of Streamline that completely dominated the first tourney we put on and um didn't didn't lose a com didn't lose a game okay. in the entire tourney. Oh wow, okay, so uh, well, it's going to be an interesting mid lane regardless. An OD against the Mirana, you'd have to give the the OD perhaps uh, the edge on that as yeah, you give with the OD the edge in most matchups. Cut and paste is going to be having a little bit of hard time. Just gonna... Yeah, this is the void top lane. He's in a bit of trouble. Got a lot of heals though. Lots of heals, uh, lots of sustain. Um, they are looking to dual lane, so they are going to give uh, some, uh, perhaps some priority to the enchantress who went. Eight tangos, so you actually can't kill this enchantress, uh, though. It's gonna be. She's actually not dying at any stage. I wonder if they were always planning on dual laning, given the fact that the inch picked up so many tangos. Perhaps not. Yeah, but regardless, uh, this isn't gonna be a fun time for the spaceless void. Uh, the range on the enchantress is disgusting. She's taking untouchable level one. Well, what you might see is what you might see you them. Do? You might see them dual laning until he gets untouchable up to level two. Um, and then you might see the Abaddon go making himself useful elsewhere, or they might keep it a dual lane. But I don't think... No, actually, this could be a... Woo! Oh, the arrow flying fast. Sacrifusion just misses on the arrow. He's going back in. Sacrifusion is actually gonna just man up here. Oh. And uh, Odie making the, the right just... decisions. My thanks. Even asks the poor Lich. The poor position five support. Give me your, give me your, um, uh, yeah, health bot. I've played Dota before. Nice. Areas in this nice. 500 MMR analysis. Um. <laughs> Actually, let's just scout it out. He knows there's a, a sentry ward mid now because the creeps just aggroed him. Yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine Abaddon hanging too round, hanging lot too like hanging around for too long on top because I don't. I can't imagine their kill potential being too high. And I think if they just try keep this dual lane up, it's not really gonna um, help too much unless unless they want to try play quite aggressively, which is what they're doing. Yeah, I think it really is the only way to play this. Is just play super super aggressive on the Enchantress. Uh, the, the I mean the Void is solely click like that is literally all the Void is so. Really hard to lock down the the inch the uh, liquid fire spam. That is the thing. Wait up! I'm gonna have the pause. Pause. I'm just gonna reconnect. See if I can get this bug.
Yeah, classic pause Dota. Just a bit of lag issues. What do you think so far? Who do you think's in the lead? Rotation coming in top from the Lich. Denied. Maybe want to try apply some more lane pressure and switch up to a tri lane, give Batrider some solo XP. It's gonna be hard against these two though. Lost you again there, Ride Hunter man. You're coming through again once about every 10 seconds or so. I'll just cast it as I see it. It's a lot of running around up top. Not too much, too many kill potentials happening, but everyone's just trying to just zone each other out. Try to give this place this boy a little bit of farm. See, Enchant was actually leading quite heavily on the last hits. Oh, Batrider's gonna go down. Looks like an arrow and a fissure committed for that. And then Troll Roller comes in with his whirling axe and takes things down. Nice kill there, though. Who did that go to? That went to the Troll Warlord as well. Gonna give him a nice little head start. Dyer's bottom tower. The old 1v1 bash hero. Later on the game, gonna be wreaking some havoc. This top lane's all over the show. No, see, Untouchable is such a strong spell, you can't harass whatsoever. And you just have this Abaddon pulling out shields, pulling out everything, like... Look at this, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do to the Radiant? They can't do anything. And they're gonna dive this too, aren't they? Dark Troll Summoner. Coming through Dyer's some of the skeletons, some little attack. skellies, they're not really doing too much. Jakiro coming through with a stun, he's trying to defuse the situation, but it's just looking... Yeah, they can't do anything, can they? Oh, with the heal, actually they did get a stun off, there's a big lag coming out, we might see a pause because of this. Lead the mass is going to survive, very close, with those lag issues he still manages just to get out of there. Oh, the untouchable, Jesus, you're watching this, I'm watching this, it's disgusting. Mid lane Sacrifusion has the Manta, not the Manta, I mean the Illusion Rune. He's gonna push up a bit. OD's gonna find Dyer's the Rune. Tower oh, is under attack. Timing. Bounty. There we go. Hits on the tower. I think a few people are getting massive lag spikes here. Radiance bottom tower is it's a bit under unfortunate, attack. but the game must go on. Dota and chill. Running out of hit points, don't want to let them hit zero. They're not going to because of the miss from the Whirling Axes. What a clutch play. Okay, He's got that cheeky salve as well and he'll be back up and running in no time. Arrow coming through, but TP out just in time. Vey on the Bat Rider doesn't quite have his flaming lasso yet. Oh, he's actually been seen here by Cunface. This is going to flap, 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 flap away. Drop that fire behind him. So we're seeing Team Pussy Lancer here have um, the slight edge in the early game. They've got a couple of kills and they seem to be farming a lot nicer as well. A couple of Null Talismans coming out. Stats gaming for the OD, pretty good considering his ult was stats based. Stats are always great, aren't they? Troll Warlord's having a little bit of space here. Try work himself. He's not having a bad game, he's 1-0. I don't think the Bat Rider's been applying too much pressure on him. He's 
still can't really hear you there, right, Hunter? They coming. Oh, he's stunned with the fisher. He's gonna have that firefly. He's gonna run around, cut down some trees. Doesn't like those trees anyway. Damaging the environment. Disgusting. It'll be interesting to see what build uh, Bear Rider goes for. Normally, you'd see the the blink pretty early, pretty standard. Abaddon not really having too many items at all. He's kind of sunk back to a very cool support. The arrow is going to come through and connect on the face of Void. The haste rune with Sacrifusion. Starfall is going to kill off the Void. He's going to run around, try to look for the Shakiro kill. Abaddon's going to get picked off by the Lich and the tower. Just doing too much damage to manage. Sacrifusion chasing down the Shakiro and he's going to look to go for the Lich as well. Lead the masses is running through the huge impeded strike, doing the massive damage. Sacrifusion with a triple kill. Bat Rider's rotated in. He's got a he's got a lasso, but with this untouchable, Radiance what is he gonna do? Under attack. He can just get some tar stacks up. They're called knee palm stacks. He's gonna drag drag lead the masses back in. But not a lot that they can do in return, and actually. Side of Pussy Lancer, rotated three up here, and Vay's gonna look like he's in a little bit of trouble. He's gonna try to run away. If he's not careful. Oh, I needed that one last Peter sit. Oh, there we go, Abaddon coming through with his nuke. Jakiro's taking some big damage. Tower Dive City. Bye bye, Jakiro. Nice knowing you. RIP one headed dragon. Oh void, cancels his ult. He doesn't know what to do. I don't feel like he can get the kill even if he drops his ult. They're just too tanky. They both have like untouchable and the Abaddon ult. Let's just rotate it in. And so is the Outward Destroyer and he's going to drop his huge ass nuke on to lead the masses. And lead the masses is going to TP away. Oh no. Disaster. Boy's trying to get the Abaddon. The ult's already been committed. Oh. Whoa. Suicide. The plays are real. Pussy Lance is just proving that they uh have what it takes, you know. Their lead is uh, ever growing. Sacrifusion going ham, trying to get Bat Rider. Oh, Fisher coming through to secure the kill from Dota and Chill. He's chilling and he's playing Dota. What a guy. Right hand is just having some. Oh, is that an error that he's like? I just started talking about right hand having some. a bit of connection issues, but that's okay. Oh, meanwhile, on top as well, lead the masses. Just, it's, it's so hard when you get untouchable up early. Um, if you don't have any nuke damage, which um, the side of SCS doesn't really have at the moment, um, it's just impossible to bring them down. They really need to just be dodging their hero, and that, especially in combination with Abaddon, they just be dodging that, that lineup. Yeah. Dyer's Get out of there. Are fortified. They're gonna dive on this Lich. Are they gonna go for it? They will. Oh. Lich, that's the wrong way to run. No stuns though, but damage. TP cancelled from the void. This is looking rough. This is of course uh, the first day of Dyer's top anecdote to Captain's draft. Attack. So, teams pseudo randomly organized, not really any uh, seedings. So, it's kind of just teams feeling each other out and sorting out who's going in the upper bracket, who's going in the lower bracket. Um, yeah, the winner of the Dyer's tourney will succeed fallen. with uh, 700 New Zealand dollars in hand. Second place, 300. So, some money on the line. Today's games are all uh, best of one as well, until we sort out the uh, first round of the upper bracket and first round of the lower bracket. Four teams will be eliminated at the end of the day, and you'll have 12 teams remaining um, for the best of threes throughout the weekend, and the grand final being at Monday evening. So, if you're around, uh, stay tuned for that. That confusion, taking the rune from Pal. What's he got? He's gonna drop a gold. Almost gets the kill on Sacrifusion. That would have been some gold coming his way. But unfortunately for the Jakiro, he is gonna go down as well. And cut and paste is continuing his uh, continuing his lead. He's 3-0 now. 
and he's just going to put his head down and do some more farming. He's got that Helm of the Dominator up, so you'll see him be able to just grind out some camps and just get some items, get some items that he really needs, and you'll see him be a dominant figure in this match for sure. Faceless Void on the other hand, Dyer's let's bring up this net worth. Stack of Fusion on top, no surprise, this is Piranha. Um, 6k denied. net worth, just he's been running around, just getting kills. He hasn't even died yet. 4 and 0 oh and 6. What a huge play. Uh, mid Murray is definitely a thing, has 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 been seen. Um, yeah, I don't. it's not too frequent. I think uh, I was watching Sing Sing play a bit of uh, Mid Murray. He plays, does some crazy ass plays and stuff to look up. Anyway. See the pussy lancer diving in here. Abaddon's gonna have his old fox. He's gonna look to look to make some plays. Oh, there we go. The void ult catches three. Where's the Jakira to back it up? He's only level five. The damage isn't there. Face the void dropping low. And Earthshaker coming through with the huge echo slam to pick up the kill with Bat Rider on Vey. Vey on Bat Rider has got the lasso. It's not gonna lead to anything. Jakira's gonna fall as well. Sacrifusion's looking low. Abaddon's looking low. Dire team right rotate some more in and end up finding that Abaddon. Wow, a lot happened quite quickly. Couldn't quite keep up, but you know, that's how things go. And for the side of uh, SCS, uh, that was actually, I'm going to say, you know, that gold is in, gold and XP in the side of favourable to SCS for a little bit, but really the heroes, the, the void, you didn't really uh, want him dying at this point in the game. You want him getting some, at least some basic items up so he can get those so he can get some damage output when he, he commits his, his uh, Chronosphere. And I called that in that last fight, that crucial point, if Jakira was level 6, that 3-man Chronosphere, so well positioned, that Macropire could have done so much more work. Nice cheeky arrow onto Roshan. Good plays. Trouble World with the Xenian double damage rune, and they're going to look to take advantage of that. Kill the big boy in his office. 14 minutes into the 15 minutes into the game by the time they finish it. Oh, the arrow and the fissure, and uh, Cadian, I'm sorry, they, you tried hard, you almost made it out. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be today. Pussy Lancer just. Going hard in the paint, really. Radiance Middle Tower is under they can attack. This. They can sniff blood in the water, and I don't think they're going to let off too easily. Now that they have picked up the ages, hang on. Lead the Masters has found TAL over here, and he's going to just be able to TP out of there. Lead the Masters has Radiance way Bottom Tower that. is under attack. And that's what they got to do, uh, SCS. They got to dodge, dodge these heroes that they know, you know, they 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 can't fight that at the moment. Radiance Bottom Tower. But the pressure is, is coming. Attack. The push pressure from Pussy Lancer. They have the ages up on cut and paste on the troll, and they're going to look to get some objectives out of this, and as they should, it's an obvious thing to do. Arrow sent. Ooh, arrow, arrow's missed, but you got to be in it to win it, don't you? If you don't hit, if you don't fire any arrows, you're not going to hit any arrows. And the, this uh, net worth lead. Up to 15k at 16 minutes. SCS might try trade here. I don't think they're going to get there in time. L certainly Dyer's looks like that's what they're trying to do, but I just feel like the push coming out from um, Pussy Lance is just too strong. And yeah, looking to go high ground with this, they are too. And why not? You have a 15k lead. Troll Warlord's got the Yasha, the Helm of Dom, the Base Boots. He knows what he wants. He wants objectives. They're pulling the fort. Faceless Void with a huge Chronosphere. Cut and paste. He's gonna be dropping low. Lich already committed. Doing some damage. They're gonna pop the Aegis. Void's running away, but the Fissure comes through and locks him down. Lich and Void are both gonna fall for that. Fall for their sins. How dare you try to kill our heroes? We're gonna punish you. And Jakiro being run down as well. Still only level 5. 
about four four minutes after that last engagement. Ulti committed from Earthshaker to pull down the tower, and um, I feel like Southern Cross that was that was the best opportunity they had to try to try bring something back. I I, I find it's gonna be very hard now if they want to salvage anything from this game. The score's 21 to three. Um, some just the laning pressure from from the that they put in was just pretty uh, phenomenal. It's very hard uh, for you to do anything. Batrider is going to go for the YOLO blink lasso, but uh, look what happens. <laughs> Chakra Fusion, top of the net worth chart, still 11k net worth, and look at the net worth charts now. Everybody on the side of Radiant is above Dire, and that's looking uh, quite sad if you're a support lich, she's definitely on the welfare. Support welfare today, boys. They want blood, they want the, They want to kill the fountain or something. Gotta be careful here. Dota and chill. Oh, he's gonna fall. There we go. GG's called. 18 minutes 50. Pussy Lancer have taken two wrecks. Um, GG. Well played. Uh, my name is Mr. Frisbee. I was uh, joined by Ride Hunter before, but unfortunately his connection has dropped. Uh, there'll be more games coming up, so. Hot, like, uh, yep. Stay around. There we, this is uh, the third game of, of six of the stream today. There's also another stream running concurrently. Twitch.tv slash AnzacDota2. Um, yeah, check it out. Uh, we won't. We should hopefully be up with the next game, which I can just tell you. Nope, yeah, I don't have it on me. Um, but I just want to say, SCS they might have lost because Jakiro didn't deploy that courier. Nah, he probably did. He bought another cheeky one at the end. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stick around.